All right, first and foremost, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakat Kodash. I'm going to uh, uh, give, uh, give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and was worthy to be counted for double honors. And peace out to you, the brothers out there pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for love of gospel. It's the brothers from the Indiana camp. Um, I'm Gaboria. Ba'ashem, yeah. And uh, we're uh, based out of Indiana. Um, come back at you again with another sit down to basically um, to, uh, to edify the. Um, the false illusion that America tries to push, all right? Because now they're trying to push the, the independent that America got its independence back in 1776 for everybody. But yet, what were what were black people, what were black Native Americans and Hispanics normally doing around 1776? All right, were we were we celebrating our independency? Are we were we celebrating our uh, um? Were we were we popping fireworks in the air, air having a barbecue and having a cookout and, and enjoying the, uh, the day? No, man. We were still in slavery. We still had work to do, man. Yes, America probably uh, the, the Americans probably had, had they um probably had their fun, but the na the Native Americans, the blacks, and the Latinos, way we were still in slavery, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The na Native Americans probably still on rev reservations, man. Sorry, struggling no, for their no, lives. No, they, they weren't on the reservation. They, they was getting, they, they were in camps. They were term in term camps. Yeah. And but matter of fact, they were probably still they were still uh they were uh, still warring with uh, uh with gay. Wait, seventeen seventy six. Yeah, they were still warm with gas. Yeah, basically, it oh, wasn't a fun time for the, yeah. for the Israelites, man. Yeah. All right. So why 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 the hell are you popping fireworks and and, and having cookouts and, and enjoy? Now I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with uh, uh um actually having you know if 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 your job saying hey you don't have to come in today you know and you like okay you can uh, you can um afford the day off then cool I mean you know you might. Go out to a family crib, get some food, you know, kick it with some family members. But that this at all. I mean, if you buy fireworks and, you know, spray painting your fucking garage, you know, American flag and getting an American flag and all and, you know, indulging all into it, man. Hey, man, that's going off. All right. Yeah. yeah basically, if you uh, participate. Yeah. You know, you, uh, you, you niggas. Not, look, look, damn. Prime example. Yeah. The fucking the gad. The fucking girl got on a red, white and blue dress, you know, with stars and, around with it. stars all on it, man. You know, participating. You know, now if you, like my son said, if you take a day off or you got a day off from your job and you cook, cool, okay? <laughs> Little boy getting his ass whooped. But if you take a day off, okay, that's cool, man. But you going to buy your kids uh, all that bullshit, man. Because in in, uh, in 1776, man, you were the fucking fireworks. Mm -hmm. They were setting fire to your ass, man. You know, you wasn't, you wasn't, you know, it, Jake, it, it's, it's, just, I, it's just crazy this, how foolish our people are, man. All right, let me with that. Well, let me get this, man. This is Micah two and ten. He said, "Arise ye, and depart, for this is not your rest." Uh huh. And look, can you look at the word rest? Mm hmm. Can you yeah, look it kind, up? Kind. All right. Yeah, man. Cause man, these niggas is. Hey, the Lord didn't. The Lord didn't make America for the for the dwelling place of the Israelites, man. All right. He made America to be the, to be destroyed. All right. He didn't make it. He didn't make it for us to be comfortable here. Mm hmm. All right. Cause it said, matter of fact. Go ahead, go, go ahead. Okay, it. this is rest. Place, rest. A, uh, rest, uh, resting place. Rest, quietness. All right, uh, now. Oh, shit. Fam shit. Famine. It's, it's like, can you read that over? Yeah, it's a uh, uh, resting place. It says, uh, um, resting place. He said, play, uh, rest place or rest or quietness. Yeah. And it wasn't quietness doing in them times, man. Hey, matter of fact, they showed you that in uh, 12 years of slave. It wasn't no rest. Didn't that, didn't that cracker come wake them up in the middle of the night, man? Yep. And had them sing and dance and shit. Mm -hmm. So is that rest? You you were dead in the middle of your seat, but then you still had to get up at the crack to go pick fucking cotton. Hey, it even says ease, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. which means, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll, even on that, man, even on a, um, a physical note, you know, you got Jake always getting per persecuted, you know. You got Jake always getting harassed, you know, always getting beaten. Like Dad said, they always have to work every single day, man. So what type of resting place is this? Nice. You got some Edomites that can take them to three, four months off. You got some Edomites that can take the whole year off their job and still have enough money to support their families. You got some Edomites that has savings up, so if they lose their job, they can have, they have enough savings to support their family for years and years, man. Yeah. Well, you got Jake, you know, we lose our job, we get evicted next month. Yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're basically paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, we're paycheck to pay. You got Edomites that they actually, if they lose their job, they got they got enough savings to 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 um to to to, to make their family basically to support their family for for probably I, I would say a year at the minimum. 
All right. Well, more, more than that. More, they, probably more than that. That's what I said at the minimum. Yeah, they have more. They have not even uh, asset. Uh, 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 not even saw, yeah, not even yeah. necessities. Just not like yeah. oh, well, we're gonna cut off this because we don't need this. Yeah. No, they can literally have all the cable, yeah. all every everything that they they don't even have to change their lifestyle if they lose a job. Like right. they can literally right. keep they, their lifestyle they, the same. They can stay afloat because they don't have assets. They they their forefathers laid up for them, and that's yeah. why that's why we tell them that they they have to pay for what their forefathers did. Absolutely, because you, your forefathers is what put up the money for you to be able to, to live now, man. You know, we go to Edomite's houses now. My son hook up cable. I want a couple of jobs with him, man. This motherfucker Edomite's living swell, man. Man, you know Jake, Jake, fucking Britain houses. You know we written shit. You know their leftovers from when they left the hood and shit, the cribs that they. Uh, people left to them, and they went off out into to the suburbs, and and bought a uh, uh, brand brand new built house. Yeah, newly All built right? houses. Yeah, ain't got to worry about for a good 20, 30, 40 years. Yeah. Now, let me finish this. All right, he said, "Rise ye and depart." He said, "For this is not your rest, because it is polluted. Mm -hmm. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction." Yeah, right. And it and that's what it's doing every day, man. The police are uh, blasting Jakes down in the streets. All right. You motherfuckers living paycheck to paycheck. If you can find a job, you housed in uh, uh, you housed in prison houses all across the world. Everywhere you go, man, Jake is is living is is down, man. That's how we can tell who who's uh, who's who. You know, uh, motherfuckers think we just pulled out our ass, man. That we that uh, all Israelite. No, man, the Israelites are doing bad wherever you wherever you go. Yep. That ghetto means dwelling dwelling place of the Jews. Yeah. Okay. All ghettos look like you put all ghettos together. You be like, damn, that looks like this. Yeah. I was looking at uh, I was looking down here. I'm like, man, this place kind of look like Chicago. But Chicago ghettos look like I me. Mean, you know, Chicago yeah. ghettos look like Gary, Indiana ghettos. Yeah. Gary, Indiana ghettos look like Indianapolis ghettos. You know, it's it's you know all ghettos look like all those ghettos look like probably uh, Atlanta. Or, hey, I know you older brothers probably can remember this. Remember the movie uh, Into the Dragon when uh, Jim Kelly had got in a uh, in the boat. And he had said, uh, he said, yeah, man, all ghettos are the same. And John Saxon had said to him, he said, yeah, same old Roper. And he told him, he said, all, he said, all, no, he said, same old w Williams, because uh, uh, Jim Kelly was playing Williams. And he said, uh, he said, man, all ghettos, man, are the same. They stink. And they was in China, you know, they was living in them little dinghies and little houses, floating houses and shit. And some of the people was Jakes, man, you know. All right. Hey, um, and it, and uh, the spiritual aspect it says it um, it will it will destroy it with a uh, sword destruction, and it's polluted because you got a lot of, f of false philosophies going around here, man. All right, and it's very polluted because America is known for like I mean I wouldn't be surprised if there was over a thousand doctrines in this one country alone, man. Yeah. You got you got all you got all the various types of Christianity. Then you have all the other nations bringing their doctrines over here, which like Buddhism, Hinduism. You know, you got uh you got uh people that don't even believe in a a, a, a spiritual a spirit in a spiritual you uh, what uh, Egyptologist, scientism, um, different type of people that believes. Oh, what's that uh. What's that thing where they get the fossils, the fo uh, the, fo the fossils and fossils. Uh, uh, no, what's it called? Uh, Archaeologists. No, nah, uh, that too, but I forgot what's it called. Um, carbon carbon dating. Carbon dating. You got right. carbon dating. You know, you got all type of different people that believes in what happened. All the yeah. so you got some people believe that the world the world is actually billions and millions and, and trillions of year old. Yeah, the world is. You know, think the world is flat. Yeah, you got the people to think that. Oh, there's there's you know, there's literally doctrines that can leave you out here stupefied, man. Stupefied. And it says that that's that sort of destruction because it can leave you out here actually believing that shit, man. Yeah. You look at it like man, people actually believe that shit. That's right. And you know, we just said that at camp yesterday, man. They said. Uh, we said that when, when the hell the Bible study come, when uh when when the hell hits, man, actually Yahweh Shah is gonna actually make it where you can't do nothing but call on His name. It's gonna mm -hmm. be so so chaotic out here, man. You know, we we, we know uh, a couple of brothers, younger brothers, man, was, was making different scenarios. Where it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be like he said. Like, well, the scripture says what? It's gonna be like it never has time seen has before. seen before. Okay, it's it's not gonna be uh, orchestrated. You know, Esau is gonna he might put a motherfuckers as police in them days are not gonna be bro. They're not gonna be trying to be no police. Hmm. They're gonna be fucking running for their lives, man. Yep. It's not gonna be orga organized. It's gonna be chaotic out here, man. You know. I got some. This is right. um this is uh, Proverbs chapter five verse two. It says, "Thou mayest regard discretion, and and that the lips may be knowledge." Mm -hmm. It says uh. For the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil, which means what, man? Some of them doctrines actually sounds good to people. Like Rastafarians, 
oh man, I get to keep dreads and yeah. I get to smoke and I get yeah. to, all that. Yeah, it, at, 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 at first it might seem real good, it might seem real appealing. Even the truth, yeah. you know, even the truth, it has this a uh, good, uh, sweet, and, uh, sweet and smoother than oil. You know, cause what you're learning that you're an Israelite. You know that the Lord only chose you. The Lord, yeah. you know, you're gonna inherit the earth. You're gonna. So every doctrine has its good. The only thing that makes the truth different is because it's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> you know, and at the end, it's not good. It's not good because if you read in the latter part, it says, "But the end, but the end is bitter as wormwood, sharper than two-edged swords." Which means what? It's gonna destroy you. It's gonna lead you to naught. It's gonna destroy you with a sword destruction. That's what that um. That's what them other doctrine is going to lead you to. Now, vice versa, the truth, it's going to bring you in with this with this sweet, savory sweetness and, and, and goodness. And then it's going to, it's, the bitterness is going to be like, man, people got to be destroyed for the, for the good to come. It's just the hardness of the scriptures, we call it. But guess what the end's going to be? The end is going to be everlasting life. The, the end is always going to be good with the truth, all right? The end's not going to destroy you at the end, man, all right? Unless you're some wicked nigga and, and, and the wisdom was never dwelt, dwelt with you in the first place. All right. But the truth is always going to flourish. OK. Right. Okay. But, but but versus other doctrine, other doctrine, that's going to destroy you. That's going to destroy you. It might. Guess, guess what? You're not going to receive no bitterness from the mother doctrine. Man. It's always going to just feed you all good stuff, which that's also what's um that also what counteracts this uh the, the scriptures because the scriptures is balance right. the scripture gives you good but it also gives you bad the scripture gives you sweet but it also gives you a bitter right all right, right. now them other doctrines if they just keep feeding you sweet keep feeding you sweet that's an off balance all right and the lord talks about off balance man that's an right. unjust thing into the into the lord man right. come on, come you know and, and, and even the world tell you too much of one thing is not, is not good for you right. man that's right hey that, that, and that's that, it's even with the herbs man yeah you got some herbs man you can't take uh uh, uh akinasia you take too much acanasia, man, it actually makes you sick. Man, some of them herbs can actually kill you. You got some oils that if you put in your skin, they'll burn through your skin. That's right. That's how, that's how potent it is. Right. You know? It's, All right, I got some. Okay. This is because you said every uh, every doctor has his sweet points, man. And this is the sweetest of sweet points, and it's true. This is Isaiah 32 and 17. He said, and the work of righteous, and the work of righteousness shall be peace, and the effects of righteousness shall uh, quietness and see earlier said what rest was, was a quiet place mm -hmm. all right so so niggas wasn't that wasn't resting man in that time man 1776 all right and the work of righteousness shall be be peace and the effects of righteousness shall be quietness and assurance forever my pe and my people shall dwell in a peaceable inhabitation and in sure dwellings and in quiet resting place all right mm -hmm. when it shall hail when uh when it shall hail come down on the forest and the city shall be low in a low place blessed are ye that sow beside all waters that send forth thither the feet uh that send forth thither the feet of the oxen and the ass um Okay, yeah, man, because hey, our western place, man, and this is is is, is Yahweh Shah, man, the name of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, so we're gonna be able to call on that name, man, like because we didn't have that before. All right, Jake was still called. Oh, well, we 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 would have been stripped from our uh, 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 from our language, so we couldn't call on the right name, man. So he gave us that sweet Jesus, man, when we was enslaved. All right, so Jake didn't have never had no quietness. We only quietness I've ever had is since I've been in this truth, man. All right, it's always been been turmoil, man, in my life, man. Always ups and downs. Get some money, got you broke again. Get some money up and down, all the way like a roller coaster. Even though now it's still a roller coaster, but guess what? I know how to make. I know how to how to, how to uh, 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 channel channel my uh, my my um, my spirit. My spirit calms me. Whenever I get blessed with something, guess what? I know something's around the corner, man. That I that I, uh, that I, that's coming. You know, all right? You got something? Come. On, this is Jeremiah chapter fifty, verse fourteen. It mm -hmm. says, "Put yourself, put yourselves." Put ye yourselves in array against Babylon around about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot her arrows. Spare no arrow, for she hath sinned against the Lord. Shout against her round about. She hath given uh, her hand. Her foundation has fallen. Her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Take vengeance upon her, as she hath done. It says she hath do she hath done. Do unto her. All right. So man, hey, the scripture, the scripture says, man, um, take vision upon her as she has done. Do unto her, man. The scripture also says what? Uh, Given to him double, man. All right. Now America has, give, has given nothing but the Israelites hell as, ever since we've been here, man. With shackles or without shackles, man. 
We have not. We have nothing but hell since we've been here, man. All right. So now, guess what? America's gonna receive hell, man. The so-called white man, he's gonna receive hell now. Right. All right. Right. Because it says, "What? Well, put yourself in array." All right. Let me look at the I word array. Kind of got some real quick. This is Jeremiah ten and one. He said, "Hear ye the words of the Lord. Speak unto you, uh, speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. He said, Learn not the ways of the heathen." And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, mm -hmm. for the heathen are dismayed at them. All right? Yeah, man. So, so we don't, man. We're supposed to be partaking in none of this bullshit that uh, that uh, America is is is, um, is partaking in. Exactly. You know, Christmas, all these holidays are wicked, man. We just, my my, my granddaughter's over at my sister's house, man, and she just posted a, a plate of food, and and man, my, I, man, I, I I told her, I said, yeah, we're on our way over there, and my sister, I said, wait, I call and tell her get us a plate ready. And she said, yeah, well, I prayed over it. So we all, we looked at each other. We already knew what that meant. I'm like, that's fucking poor. You know, and we told my sister about that shit. So guess what? We were subject to because my granddaughter has to eat that shit. You know? So, man, it's, it's hard. It's hard out here, man. You know, to, to be, to be try, try, try to hold upright and be uprightness in this wicked-ass kingdom, man. People know that you don't participate and, and you, the things you do, man. And they, they get, no, I was out of prayer. I prayed over it the fuck out of here, man. We don't fuck around with that shit. You knew that shit before you put the shit on the grill. Why didn't you just put on some, some beef hot dogs on there? And it was she didn't really cook. Her friend cook. I'm like, damn, you could have just took a pack of hot dogs over there. You know? But that's something else. Go ahead. Right. Now, just the word array means to basically set aside, to put, lay over, to set, array, prepare, order. And it has, I like the second definition where it says tax. Now, you have your normal paycheck and then you have taxes something that you set aside something that you separate from your normal paycheck all right so when it says put yourself array it means even though we're still in this place don't be you know in mindset you know don't um don't be fully uh, uh, uh be in the world but not of the world don't be fully americanized man yes if a person says oh what's your citizenship yeah we might say yeah well i'm, I'm african-american you know because, you know, we legally can't say, oh, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Judite from the tribe of Israel. You know, we can't say that because they're like, well, we don't have that on record. You know, we have to say, oh, I'm, I'm African-American or everything. Just like Paul. Paul said, yeah, I'm a Roman citizen. But, you know, he didn't he didn't, he didn't, didn't conform to Roman citizens' doctrine, man. Which means what? You know, shaving your beard. Being, being a Roman, basically. You know, because he actually made a uh, 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 He actually wrote a letter to the Romans, you know. Cussing them out for certain things, you know, and rebuking them for certain things. All right? Right. And that's all I had. Did you have something? Right, no, that was it. Kind of, kind of, you know, we're Lord willing, we hope this video was edifying for you. Hopeful elect out there. We want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Rakakodash, and Devlana to the elders and apostles, great millstone. Shalom to next time.